it is time for some new patch action. We got Megabeth, the newest pro to be introduced to Super Monday Night Combat. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how she works for the most part. She is labeled as a striker. So she has got mobility, she's got pushing power. But she's not as durable as, say, an enforcer would be. So she's in the same category as Assault and Carl. Right now she's 360 uber points, I think 6,750 combat coins, same price as Carl. So about the uh, mid-tier of pricing. She is not free right now, I imagine she will be probably in a week or two. Since that she's now been added, the rotation for strikers will be a little longer. And I've been playing her for a bit now. Uh, she's pretty, she's pretty mob she's mostly about mobility. She's got a lot of oomph with her with her uh, main weapon, which is the rocket launcher right here. As you saw with that targeting laser, her alt fire, basically you can turn it on and it will redirect all rockets in air, or ones that you fire will start heading towards that area. I mean, you can get some, uh, some pretty clutch kills off by just looking around and aiming, just being smart with your rocket aiming. You can't just uh, do it all the time as of a charge, which if you look at your targeting, uh, targeting uh, practical, you will see how long it has uh, to charge when you use it. I think it's like a quarter charge. It has to be at max charge to actually uh, use. And each rocket fired uses 25%, as I said earlier. Her secondary weapon is a... Uh, fires ball bearings. They will do... It's pretty got a pretty high rate of fire, 20 clip, and it will fire these balls that bounce off walls, kind of similar to the uh, assassin secondary weapon. It's... Uh, Damage isn't as good as the rocket launcher, but if you're up close, it can be useful to, uh, if you need to be a little more accurate, a little easier to aim uh, up close, and there's no uh, worry about uh, taking self-damage. As you can see, you can rocket jump with the uh, rocket launcher, and it will hurt you a little bit. Not too much, but if you're low on life, you do have to be mindful that your rocket, uh, your splash damage can hurt you. So if you're up close, you might want to switch to the uh, secondary. All secondary can be useful if you want to preserve your clip on your rocket launcher for when they try to get away from you. And she's very good at pushing at pushing lanes. So you see I'm just it will do a lot of damage. Point blank the rocket launcher is very powerful. Her for abilities are the shift ability is a disc that will stun bots and turrets. It slows pros, does decent damage, and will bounce off walls as well. So if you're really good I'm not very good at aiming it right now. I'm getting better, but if you're really good at aiming it gets a very um some very good kills or slow down escaping enemies, so it's a very a useful ability. I max it. Um, my second ability to max. The first one is her, or will be her uh, E ability, but I'll get that later. Her Q. I do not use her Q in this video at all. It is a spinning ability she does. She has a spin. Anyone caught within the radius of that spin will take damage over time and will get pushed back a little bit. Um, right now, I'm not very impressed with the damage on it. And it's also you gotta get up close, so you're a lot more vulnerable. One thing about her, she's very, she can be very quick, very hard to uh, to get a lock on. Thanks to her rocket jumping, her E ability, and so forth. So I'm not a big fan of the Q. It can be useful uh, for annihilator fights; everyone's grouped together. But all it takes is one grapple, and that kind of shuts you down. So I don't use it a whole lot. And I guess it's also useful for farming bots. And her Q works like a Assault's Fly or the Assassin's Cloak, you can toggle it on and off and it'll drain as you have it on. So you can't attack while it's on, so if you want to start using other abilities again or attacking, you really want to go ahead and turn that off. But you have the options, that's nice. Her third ability, her E, which I've been talking about right now, talking up already, is called Shoot the Moon. Basically what happens, you'll see right here, she hops and she gets a speed boost for about three or four seconds. This is a really good ability. If you are very good with a rocket jump, you get a lot of distance out of it. It will also damage anyone who is near you when it first goes off, making it very, uh, very useful for escaping, but also for finishing off people when you want to get out. If someone's low on life, you want to kill them, but you also really can't stay around very often. You can try shooting that off and see if you get a kill, and not you know risk uh, dying yourself. I max that out second, uh, besides her offense. Her offense is really important to max out. She's not, unlike unlike Assault and Carl, she doesn't have the quick burst. Her disc is nice, but it's a lot harder to aim than uh, Junior or the Assault's, uh, well, I guess we'll call it Headcrab, is his mine. 
so it can be a little harder to uh, a little harder to get kills with that. The rocket launcher, on their hand, has got a lot of burst, and you can aim a lot. It's a lot easier to aim with the alt fire, so that'll be your go-to for damage. So basically, I I level up. Uh, I'm not saying this is the best. This is what I've been using so far. What I've heard of other players. I go offense first. I go then I go for her shoot the moon her E because you really want to get get that cooldown uh, lowered. If you're not going to level up a lot, I would go for at least two points because two points puts it in a much more reasonable 20 or so seconds, I believe, which makes it a lot more reliable for escape or, or getting into an area right there. I use it to get in. Kind of a waste, but. You know, just experimenting. After that, I level up her disc, and then following that, her I'll put a few points into her. Depending on how the game's going, the other team's really aggressive. Or if I'm holding the line by myself a lot, I will put a few points into defense every now and then. And defense also raises your speed, so it can also make her a lot more mobile. But the biggest thing about her is her ability to get around really fast without having to rely on jump pads or any sort of skills. She can always, uh, unlike Assault or Carl, have to rely on skills to get up. So you can just uh, jump and get up to where she needs to be. She doesn't have to race to a rocket pad. She doesn't have to spend money on a, on a or not a rocket pad, but a jump pad. She doesn't have to jump, uh, go to a jump pad, spend money on it. She can get right up right away. So obviously she can uh, jungle near the annihilator if she wants to, and do it a lot more easily than the other two classes. She has, doesn't have to waste any abilities to get up there. So she'll have all her defensive abilities ready for her when she gets up there. And I've tried some jungling uh, Megabeth, and it works out pretty well. It's a lot of fun. She's really good on Spunky because she can, uh, as you'll see here, she can switch between lanes really fast, which by rocket uh, rocket jumping. And right here, gonna get this guy off. Her grapple is, as you see right there, she spins the guy off. It seems to be really, it's got really good uh, distance on the throw. Which would be very useful if you want to toss her into towards turrets or bots, or just go for ring outs. But just bear in mind that it does uh, throw them right there. You see, I can easily hop up real fast and get a ejector off on that uh, assassin. I meant to ring her out, but she, I guess she just jumped, uh, mistimed that jump of hers. Uh, she also is very uh, dangerous with juice. Her rockets will crit for a lot when she's uh, got juice active. We're talking uh, well into four digits. Uh, she has she does have one uh, special attribute of her rocket uh, launcher is that it does have knockback on direct hits. So if you are going for a annihilator, you have to watch out because she can uh, interrupt you by firing rockets at you. So make sure your team is trying to body block rockets or just chasing her so she cannot actually uh, get shots off on you. It can be hard to picture the good player who actually can use the uh, alt. Fire right here. I'm trying to there you go get a good jump up there. But if they're using the alt fire. They can be really good at blocking the annihilator from the enemy team without exposing themselves too much. But right here, you just see she's a really good pusher, a really good uh, bot killer. She can get some really high bot scores just from her, just by really pushing with the uh, rocket launcher. And as for uh, endorsements and product loadouts, right now I'm using rate of fire just to give her more DPS with the rocket launcher. I don't have an incredibly good, right here you see I use a disc, disc has a lot of damage to her and she either has to bail, which she, she tried to do but she died, or she's slow and thus can't really catch up with the, uh, catch up with my teammates, so, really useful ability, I suggest getting really good at leading your target with it, uh, learning how it bounced off of stuff, be very potent. And right here again, as you see, I think she... Yeah, she uses her shoot the moon to get away really fast, so I can't get a rocket off on her. And you see right there, you see my uh, my targeting thing reloading on the uh, my little circular target there. So just keep that in mind because you can't just spam the uh, alt fire. But again, endorsements and products. I went with rate of fire. I know a popular one is rate of the rate of fire bacon, which will give you also a bigger clip and faster reload. Her reload actually her reload speed is actually really good as it is, but pushing it further just Really, it's all about pumping out more. You'll see right here. Just okay. She's she being grappled, so the there you go. You know, level ten, six hundred damage. Not too bad for uh, juice. But it's really about just getting as much rocket launcher damage out as possible. So 
you're going for the best build, probably Bacon Fire Rate Endorsements. I'll give you the the five clip rocket launcher and the see right there. I use the shoot the moon to sort of avoid getting ringed out. And here, neatly toss her into the pit with the grapple. And yeah, uh, that's endorsements. So moving on to products. As you see in the bottom, I am using over armor because she is fragile and around level 10 she'll start. That extra armor can be very nice. See right here, I can hop up there. I'm trying to go for the kill right there, but I sort of backed off because I'm too sure about the. Uh, thought there was other players back there, but it was actually just bots. But I sneak back up there and use it to finish off Carl. Go ahead and grapple him because he's juiced right now. Use my own juice to break his grapple and finish him off. Product so can't slow this is very important. She's very mobile, so protecting her from slows is crucial. Make sure she can get the most out of that. Get, uh, bleh. Make sure that she can get the most out of that uh, shoot the moon ability because she's slow while using it. Then she's kind of screwed. So go with can't slow this. Over armor is pretty nice. I'm using money magnet. Um, I don't have critically late. I'm saving up for it. I would probably go with critically late. Money magnet's pretty good if you're still uh, new to the game. Not very good at getting bot kills. Not good at pushing or just uh, you want to play more conservatively. Don't want to risk sticking your uh, head out too much. It can keep you very safe, but probably critically lights better because getting crits of the rocket is just devastating. And right here, just once again, you uh, picking him off. The rocket launcher. Here's a good sa a sample bot you could use the uh, Q on just to get the AOE damage on them. But really, once you get the max out, uh, max out your offense, the rocket launcher is just as good as uh, wiping out bots. And I would say that um, I'm not gonna I'm not trying to judge her in terms of other strikers. I don't play striker a whole lot. I usually main commando, but I've been playing her for the past two days a lot, sort of get a feel for her. But I think that she serves her role pretty well. She's got a excellent way to push. Uh, very mobile. Probably more mobile than uh, the other two uh, commandos. Maybe not so much more than assault. Assault still got his fly, which is a very uh, a really great skill if you know how to use it. I've seen some uh, <clears throat> really great. Uh, if you want to watch some good assault videos, I recommend uh, Rogue Blades. He has some really good uh, uses of fly to get in spots to surprise players. Uh, really shows off mobility of the assault class. And I have a feeling that we'll see a lot of good videos on abusing uh, Megabeth's mobility with the rocket launches, uh, rocket jumps. Um, I don't show it off in this video, but if you rocket jump and then do a shoot the moon, you can get a crazy amount of distance. And really take players by surprise. Uh, get some really good kills set up. Right now I'm playing a bit more conservatively. Since I'm still unfamiliar with the class. And this game's just about over. Got about four minutes left on it. Uh, we're pushing pretty hard here. I'm focusing on just making sure the lanes are pushed up. Uh, Spunky Arena is a pretty, uh, pretty easy map to get backdoored on. People forget about the other lane. It's hard to switch lanes especially early on, so you can uh, easily lose uh, turrets earlier than you think. So I'm just pretty much switching between uh, the two lanes, making sure we're pushed properly in both areas. Like right now, the other lane I need to switch here soon and sort of uh, sort of make sure that's not getting pushed too far back. Right here, good example, can't slow this. I was able to sort of uh, avoid that kneecap from the gunslinger, but I here I should have I probably shouldn't have used the shoot the moon offensively. At this point, I'm trapped between bots and two other players, and I get killed. So be careful when you're alone and using the using her E because you don't want to get baited like that. I got really easily baited, easily picked off. That her ability to move real fast, she is uh, easy to kill, and. As soon as I got my disc off and slowed them, I still have been a victim to the kneecap. At that point, my cancel this was down. A good thing for her ability, though, is... Uh, see, there I probably should have aimed the throw better and back into the turret so she would actually get a... Well, she took a round, so I guess she died anyway, but... Watch where you're aiming your throw, because it makes a difference, obviously. Right here, we're going to... Like I said, easy to get pushed back if you're not watching what you're doing. I was right in that the uh, left lane was getting a little too pushed back. At this point, going down here, 
Gonna grab some. Uh, listen for bullseye because it's a good easy way to heal up without having to go back to your base. Just make sure there's no enemies down there. Be a little cautious when you're entering. Here, the gunslinger. She has the right idea. She's going to just try to get the annihilator, but she has no backup, so she goes down. And, you know, head down, beat on uh, bullseye, get some money. Good way to catch up or stay ahead, and also get some items like juice and armor. I will say. Beth can definitely use with armor. And there's a lever, but at this point the game's pretty for on conclusion. And yeah, just uh I think the most important thing with Beth is just to just to push as hard as possible. Even if you're going for a a more commando style of play, you want to make sure you're getting those bot kills because she's really good at it. And right here, I'm not sure what you're doing, but you'll say that that assassin will die. Yep, just pushing forward. Not how much more. Uh, not much more to say here. Gonna go ahead. Uh, that's a waste of a shoot the moon. Don't do that. I guess at this point, at four points, the cooldown's low enough where it's it's pretty safe. But eh. Yeah, I got got him on the runs. But at this point, our comedy girl set up four cats. Did her uh, overclock ability, and that's the game. So that's been a look at Megabeth. Like I said, I hope you uh, check her out. If not, uh, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you enjoyed the video.